Welcome to Clean Air, Tame Editor at the Herald and Review in Decatur, Illinois, and I'm at my desk. I am now in the eighth month of my 365 Days of Cinema 2 project, a uh, project that I inherited from Matthew Fisher, who is a Facebook friend and, and acquaintance and, uh, on the web and a, a film fan whom I respect a lot. Matthew did the original 365 Days of Cinema last year, which is basically he would watch a movie a day and write a brief review of it and post it on Facebook. And toward the end of the year last year, he was talking about how he was ready for it to be done and I was encouraging him to, to continue and he encouraged me to continue, so I have. One of the things that's kind of interesting about the 365 Days Project is I focused more on watching films I haven't seen before. So some of the films that I've liked and wanted to see again, I've kind of thought, well, would I rather spend this hour and a half or two hours re-watching something or should I be watching something new just to keep up with the project and try not, you know, try to get to a point where I'm not behind all the time. Last night, I just happened to be flipping channels and came across the movie Leap of Faith, which was a movie in the late 80s, early 90s with Steve Martin as a con man preacher, revivalist preacher. And it also included, it was a fantastic cast in retrospect. Um, they had Steve Martin, Liam Neeson, Deborah Winger, Meatloaf, and Philip Seymour Hoffman in a, in a unlike, unlikely small part, Lucas Haas from Witness, and Lolita Davidovich. That's a pretty decent cast, and it's a really good movie. And I was just glad to just kind of sit back and take a little bit of time and enjoy a movie and not be looking at it critically, just kind of visit old friends again. This is a movie that's not available on DVD, unfortunately. And it's really unfortunate because if it's not Steve Martin's best performance, it's definitely in the conversation. It's certainly the best Deborah Winger ever was. And Liam Neeson, I like in everything. So that, that, that's really not part of the conversation. And it's a real early role for Philip Seymour Hoffman. Um, in fact, he, as, as I was looking at him, I kept on thinking of L.J. Clink from Richland because they have, they have similar hair. And, and similar facial look, and and uh, he's and Philip Seymour Hoffman in the movie has that kind of rough and tumble look that L.J. has, and I, I, that that was amusing me to no end. And Deborah Winger has never been prettier than she was in this movie. You know, and that comes from somebody who does like Officer and a Gentleman, however much of a wimp that makes me. I do like that movie a lot, but she was really, really pretty in Leap of Faith. It's one of the great things about the project, though, is that it's giving me a list of those films that I might have a chance to go back to. And yes, it is continuing. Uh, the, the most amusing question that comes to me about it is if I say anything about it, somebody will say, you're still doing that? How long are you going to do it? I'm going to do it for 365 days. That's the name of the project. And I've already got next year's in mind. It's not going to be movies. but. We'll be doing that thing, a, a, something a day. I've got friends who have done the photo a day thing. And I think that's really cool. And now that I'm eight months into it, it you know, I, I look back and see that there's, there's a pretty massive batch of stuff that I've already gathered up as a result of it. And, and it's been a fun project. And like I say, next year's, I think will even be more fun because it's going to involve music. And I'm really looking forward to that. In the meantime, if you've got films that you think that I should be taking a look at, and the only rule is it has to be something I haven't seen before. And you'd be surprised what kind of things I haven't seen before because I just saw Color Purple for the first time over the weekend. Then shoot them my way. Email, phone, uh, drop a note on Facebook, whatever it takes. In the meantime, I'm Tim Kane. Save me the aisle seat. I'm at my desk.